So it pays to tell people what you want. Look, dude, we found a ugly stick with the quick trigger, which I haven't had out for years. 30 bucks at Walmart. Oh yeah. So all their open faces didn't have this quick trigger. I mean, probably 10 years now. And they finally brought the ugly stick back, the six foot. Clear tip, beautiful five foot. This is a five foot. Clear tip, open face, quick trigger. 30 bucks, that's a steal, guys. They want $50 for these. You better go get you one at Walmart. Went to Burger King get our dollar large iced coffees and they said, hey, Duke want, or not Duke, does your dog want a pup cup? I said, sure. So they brought him out some ice cream. He loves it. He, as soon as he heard pup cup, he jumped onto my lap and was waiting for it. So this thing happened it's a long story but went to go get a grill had a 22 inch grill picked out wound up with this now this says I bought it at Lowe's walked out with the 22 inch grill with the flip top lid saw this outside said 298 28 inch griddle and I said that's six inches bigger and it's got the flip top lid and it's the same price as the 22 inch. So I took the 22 inch back, bought the 28 inch. They said they had 19 in stock. They brought it out and it was a 28 inch griddle. Had the regular uh, griddle top, not the omnivore top. And had a lid that just sets in the back. And I said, no, I want the flip top lid, the 28 inch flip top lid that you got out there on display for 298 so they couldn't find them they said this must have been an original one uh they don't make it anymore and they had the new model so i said well i'll buy the display so they sold me the, the display and um when they tried to ring it up they found out it wasn't even the same model and they had put the sticker on the wrong thing this is actually a 30 inch 30 inch griddle has the omnivore uh, cast iron top but you can see um, it was the display so there's some stuff on here for YouTube and Instagram and lives the Blackstone Grill Lovers Unite it's got some other stuff over here, which we don't have the grease cup liners or the griddle seasoning. Oh, no, I do have the griddle seasoning and the griddle tool kit. Don't have the soft cover that came with this deal. So I have to get a soft cover. But this model right here is about $400, $398 at Lowe's. Um, you can get one for $298 on the 28-inch flip-top lid. Uh, from Walmart But they don't sell it at Lowe's so kind of a whole mix-up deal and I I learned a lot about Black tops that I didn't know before so there's different style grills different style uh, lids um, And the new ones have the air fryers the pizza ovens and they range from 200 to a thousand plus dollars but i was okay with the 22 inch i just wanted this flip top lid this will come off you can set it behind it if you don't want to leave it up say it's windy this will just pull off which i don't want to do right now and then it sits on these right here right back here um we'll do some more videos on this and i'll show you seasoning it up because i'm going to season it a special way i'm not going to use their seasoning that we have because we did get a starter kit but 
I'm going to mix up my own seasoning, season this black stone, or this uh, cast iron up myself, and uh, some other stuff. So, it is only a two burner, but with the omnivore top, it should do a pretty good job for us. Uh, the omnivore uses less BTUs, I found out, uh, so your uh, propane should last longer, uh, and you not necessarily need the three or four burners. So, something to look for if you're thinking about getting a Blackstone. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because we'll be doing a lot more videos uh, cooking on this Blackstone coming up in the future. And I already have some great ideas, so something you're going to want to stick around for. Alright, stick around. I'm sure there's going to be more in this vlog coming up next. Alright, so like I said, this 30 inch... Blackstone, you can see there's a display. Check me out. It's got the foldable. Now these come with, uh, most of the Blackstones you can buy accessories or shelves or whatever on. The one, some of them have the hooks built in. Some of them have shelves, some don't. Some of them are three and four burners. And now they're coming with pizza ovens, air fryers down in here. Um, they all take different K uh, covers. And remember, this is good. You need a kind of a soft cover for this if it's going to be outside at all. Uh, some of them come with them, but all the covers are different sizes too. So this is all stuff you got to remember when you when you're getting a blackstone. You just lift up and. Now, they just lock in right in here like this, so you don't want to put like a giant heavy whatever. But most of the tools, uh, and they have lots of accessories, uh, are magnetic, silicone, and uh, every, like there's, I don't know how many different 28 inch and 30 inch. Uh, and then there's also multiple kinds of covers. There's this professional series, which I had a choice chance to get today, and I didn't buy it. I got the one that fits this. It should be here tomorrow. We're going to season this today. There is a griddle seasoning you can buy. It's about $10. Uh, it's a vegetable-based, uh, like, uh, grease. We're going to mix up our own with some bacon grease, some uh, liquid smoke, some onion uh, powder, and a couple other little things we'll get that mixed up we're gonna get this heated up and get this uh seasoned you got to do it three or four times uh while it's a season i'm gonna open this package we got from the pucker butt pepper company uh it should be pineapple teriyaki hot sauce so we're gonna check that out i also want to go over this little crescent everyday carry i picked up for 6.99 and we'll go over that, see if it's something worth checking out. And uh, we're going to get this thing seasoned up. I bought the non-stick griddle spray because uh, not only will it be non-stick, but it will also help season your grill in between seasonings. Every once in a while you got to re-season your grill. Lots of Blackstone videos out there on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, so you can learn about anything you want to. Uh, got a lot of travel size. Now this we paid about uh, six dollars for. There's ten pans, but you can just use them and even clean these out if you wanted to. If you're going to clean something out, might as well clean these out. But you can just let these fill up, throw them away when you're done. This is your grill or your grease traps, cup liners. I go in this little thing back here. They fit right down in there, and then you don't have to clean this, which is going to be nice. I thought for, you could put aluminum foil or something in there, but. In there 
All right, let's get this thing fired up. I gotta get my gas tank on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these this stuff on there until some other thing. Look, Griddle Nation, Blackstone Griddle, Griddle More. Pretty cool. Now they did have this label that has a 28 inch griddle bundle um and they honored their price for me but this they put on the wrong thing it's a 30 inch omnivore and these range about 400 dollars. i did notice being the display there's a little ding somebody did i've smoothed it out but i got the uh grease gate and tool holder basically uh these are magnetic even though they had hooks uh i'd actually pick this up before i got this one and i just kept it because the one i was getting didn't have hooks but this grill thing hooks on the back you can put your spatula in it uh magnetic hooks for your stuff and then there's a grill grate so stuff doesn't fall out the back and you can kind of adjust how much grease is going into the grill into the grease trap and then of course I got the starter kit with the spatulas and the scrapers. And it's just two-handed spatulas like you do. That's how you run a Blackstone, two-handed spatulas. And then the scraper to clean it up. So we're going with the culinary designs. This is the Blackstone culinary omnivore. This is the omnivore. This is another thing you got to look for. The standard Blackstone grill um, is nice, but the omnivore uses less BTUs. It's more even heat, and uh, it's just totally different. It's a totally different design and setup. Whole thing, size, shape, and uh, complete design. So now this has two knobs but there are four burners there's two on this side and two on this side just two controls for those four we're going to get a battery in here you just take this out put a double a battery in there and then you screw it back on hit the button should start to start the gas we'll get some gas on we'll get that on we'll turn this on high until this changes colors it's got to change completely to a different color we're gonna put a light coating of oil on everywhere sides bottom outside front everywhere three to four times let it all burn off in between smoke and burn off and then uh, when this turns black this is all seasoned now every once in a while I have to reseason this but uh, to clean it it's pretty simple too um, one good thing to have is some water they do sell some squirter, like ketchup squirter look bottles for water. That's the best way to clean it. Just a little water, scrape it off, re-grease it. Easy peasy. All right, while this is heating up, we'll look at this uh, Crescent Everyday Carry Knife, and we'll open this uh, package. So stick around, guys. It's not over yet. The other thing I really like about this model is the four locking casters. Some of them have two, some of them have none some where i think they all have at least two some of them are legs and casters this is nice i can just fold down the sides and just move this out of the way gas just attaches literally just hangs from the handle goes against there that was it hook it up all right all right listen Hey, it works. So they give you a top 12 wines you need to try. Um, gift card worth $125. You can get 100 and, it says 100 and $200 worth of wine for 70 bucks. Good thing is they did give me the book with it. So it's got the omnivore griddle plate, culinary. Uh, I can activate my warranty. And there's a Blackstone sticker I can put on my truck or something. Pretty cool. And I got the book. So we got the grill or the grease guard thing in here. 
shut that off so stuff isn't like falling down into there if you're doing eggs still gonna have that little groove but put that wherever you want we don't need that on there now then this you can put your spatula up in here see it's gonna hold it up here where you can get to it and I like these uh, magnetic hangers I can separate my spatulas and my scrapers and I don't have to reach around to the outside and put my extra tools there so perfect all right we're gonna get this going all the way up all the way up turn this bad boy on see you're great this goes in there you, now if you go to Lowe's oh, I heard it light up oh yeah they're burning you can see down to that right there all right we're gonna get this hot Changing colors. And while this while it's doing that, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take this out of here. I'll leave that on there right now. I take this off. This is probably get hot. It's too bad too, because I like this sticker. Save that, put it on my sticker wall. Alright, this is the crescent, you know the ones that make crescent wrenches. I like the wrenches. I bought this because it was on clearance at Menards. $6.99. This thing is Harpoon Blade, heavy D2 steel blade duty, smooth action bearing, high strength aluminum handle, deep pocket. Lifetime warranty limited, uh, everyday carry, and design engineered and tested in the United States of America. Now it says it has heavy D2 steel blade, provides excellent blade strength, edge retention, overall product, product durability. Heavy duty ball bearing system, provides quick, easy blade deployment. Knives are equipped with easy action flipper. High strength aluminum design. Alright, let's get this thing out and check it out. Seven dollars. Can't beat that. Got a little edge guard thing right there. Oh yeah. That's smooth. Smooth. Easy peasy. That's light for how big that is. Feels pretty durable. I mean, for a seven dollar knife, D2 steel. Let's see if it's sharp. Be a nice work utility knife. Oh, that is some thick card. Look how thick that cardboard is. It's got plastic in there too. I just cut right through. Like, oh, that cardboard's hard. Like that cardboard is hard to bend. Takes all my strength. Takes all my strength, but ugh, cuts right through like butter. That's a nice knife. Menards, guys. Crescent. Crescent tools. Put it in your toolbox. All right. Let's see how this is doing. I'm seeing little dots. Probably where the some welds are or something in an X form. But it's not changing colors yet. We'll get the little digital tester out here in a little bit. So I won this on Ed Curry's Smoking Ed Curry channel. He runs, owns, 
Pecker Butt, Pecker Butt Pupper, Pucker Butt Pepper Company. And this is the Pineapple Teriyaki Hot Sauce. It's not very hot. It's on the low end of the hot sauce. Smoking Ed's World Famous Peppers. Mild Pineapple Teriyaki Hot Sauce. This, about Smoking Ed. Smoking Ed Curry's is world famous for his pepper products. He is known as a mad scientist for spicing up foods he feeds his family and friends. Whether he's planting, pruning, or harvesting, Smoking Ed is, one, is on a never-ending pursuit of perfecting his peppers. With one goal in mind, to heat up your taste buds. Use his sauces to add an explosion of flavor to any recipe. And we're going to be trying this pineapple teriyaki hot sauce in a few different ways. We'll cook a little bit on the, we'll probably cook something with it on the Blackstone. And we're also going to try it on a few other things. So I will do a taste test of this on its own and it'll be in its own video. So hit that subscribe button. Go check out Smoking Ed Curry and go subscribe to his channel. And make sure you hit the like button for this video before you go do that. All right, we're going to get back to seasoning the Blackstone now. Thank you, Ed Curry. We appreciate it. I'll also do another uh, review on this, but it won't be an unboxing. I already knew what I was getting, though. This is a prize package. Love it. It looks good. The brown, brown pepper salt. All right, let's go mix up a seasoning for this real quick while it's getting hot. All right, they said you could use any plant plant-based oil or even uh, rendered fat. We're gonna use bacon grease. I can't wait to start cooking some breakfasts out there. I don't have to do dishes. I don't have to smell the house up with bacon, and I can just go out there cook my pancakes, my bacon, my eggs, my home fries, potatoes. All on the grill, one grill, and clean it off real simple. I can't wait to do it. It'll be so nice. All right, uh, I am gonna put a little liquid smoke in here, a little hickory liquid smoke, um, just for added. We're gonna heat this up while that's heating up. Now you just want to put a, a small, thin layer of this grease. Uh, on stuff I'm going to use a here's a little garlic powder I wanted onion powder I want a little onion powder too and I know it's gonna burn but it's gonna give the onions going to give some really good seasonings on there uh, I'll see the onion powder Here we go, onion powder. All right, just a little bit. All right. Now we're gonna go heat this up. Get this hot. We're gonna take a paper towel and uh, some tongs. I'm gonna use the 12 inch grill tongs and some paper towel. And we're just gonna coat everything real lightly uh, three to four times. Now in between the coatings, we're gonna let it burn off completely and then we'll recoat it. Till it turns black, and then we might do it a few more times after that too. Not sure. Oh, it's starting to turn colors. Did you see it? That's what we want it to do, but everywhere. It's not there yet. Let's see what that temperature is. 487 right there. 458. 332. Let me show you where I'm pointing these. It is changing a little bit, but I mean, we're way up there in temperature. But look. Outside staying about even. A little cooler down on this end. That corner is real cold. Three hundreds down here. Out here, we're way up. It's 
we're gonna have to close this because it's cooled off since I opened it. This side's definitely hotter. And look, it's got an X, like it burns across and down. So it burns this way and this way and this way per side. All right, we're gonna let this go till it gets all hot. Uh, I do want to set this up here. Get that melted. Very nice, it fits. So this knife, this knife's like a gray aluminum. And it's got these red pins. And then the anodized blade, it's pretty nice. I mean, it feels nice. It's heavy but light, sturdy but light. I think this is a good find. See here it says model 2355. And the, this is an, actually a model 2163. Now, the 2355 is a 28 inch griddle. It's a good price, 298. It does have the lift off lid. Has the original uh, grill plate, not the omnivore plate. Still a nice griddle. But this has got the uh, upgraded griddle and it is 30 inches. Uh, and it's about $100 more. So this Blackstone spray says it contains soybean oil, canola oil, coconut oil, mono and disilurides. Comes from Utah. Three in one formula. It cooks, protects, and seasons. So pretty nice. A lot of heat coming out of those vents right there. So you don't want to have stuff too sitting. You can keep stuff warm sitting right here. But you don't want to have anything that's going to melt. Especially at this temperature. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes probably. We're over 500 there. 424 there. 400 back there. 500 degrees, I think, is where it starts turning. We're not quite there yet. We're getting there, though. The center's good. That's our hot spot right there. That's a hot spot. And this is our medium spot. And then this is going to be our warming areas around here. Good to know that. Hey, our stuff's melted. I love their colors. The black, the orange, the chrome. I mean, I'm a Harley guy, so these colors work really well for our theme. Our, like, everything we got going on around here. Matter of fact, we just took our bike out for the first ride this year. Uh-oh, something just popped. Maybe it's ready. Ooh, that's boiling. Better get that off of there. That's ready, ripe and ready. I'm gonna set that up here so it'll melt that. All right, she's about there. We're about three quarters of the way out. This side's about done, and uh, it's gonna be hot. I don't want to touch it. 500 degrees. That'll burn you right away. All right, a little bit longer. The good thing, one thing about this lid is you can lift this lid off and it'll set on these on the back side too. So you can really do it both ways. But you can see when you lift this up, there's a little hole back in the back. Now I will say it's a little windy out here. It's been 25 minutes. And you can see here about where that edge of that gray is. It's 500 degrees on be honest gets down to 378 so we still got to wait but it's going to take over a half hour to heat this thing up all right it's time guys uh it's been a complete hour since i put this on high uh, we checked it a half an hour ago and regardless of where it is i'm gonna i'm gonna do it regardless i'm gonna show you real quick shut it uh, and we'll do a quick temperature, but I don't want to leave it open too long. It is 
50 degrees out it is windy i put a little block up here try to block some of the wind um but it's going to be what it is we're gonna do a real quick check and then we're going to do this all right so here's where it's at the outside's about 485 insides 560 586 i see at one point 600 435 412 so pretty good all right i'm gonna shut this up reheat get this ready and then we'll uh we'll get this first coat on all right so i just folded some paper towel into like a, a square and i'm gonna take the corners in like this this and this and then I'm going to grip this with tongs now I let my grease settle remember I put uh, onion powder and stuff in it I'm just going to let that go to the bottom it, it cooked it's been sitting in it it smells delicious I'm going to try to stick just with the grease though and coat it just with the grease let that stuff stay on the bottom Don't worry about the paper towel that gets off on there. You'll get that off. It ain't gonna matter. It won't be there when you're done. Get the sides real good. Outside real good. You don't want none of this rusting on you. Smells good. Smells so good. Smells good, 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 good. Alright, we're going to close this up. We're going to do this three or four times. Still smoking. Look at this. See that? See what that is? Can you see what that is? Maybe you can't tell. Asparagus. That's what that is. And I can't wait to cook on here. This smells so good already. The smoke's slowing down. Give it time to burn off. It'll look completely dry. See, we still got some areas that aren't dry. It'll look completely dry like that. When it's done then you can do another layer just give it time don't worry about that little stuff that's not gonna matter it's all gonna be black when we're done we'll be a black stone all right you can see the middle's getting really good the outside especially this side is lighter this side's getting pretty good but the wind's blowing this direction so i'm gonna spin this and try to concentrate on this side and then my son just came out and saw all this and he's like can you cook me some chicken on there so i'm gonna cook a piece of chicken for him once we get this all seasoned up all right been oh well, it's only been half an hour or so since we started coating this still some to burn off yet but it's coming around. It's really starting to be black. This side needs a little bit darker. I did bring this inside, uh, right inside the door. So uh, hopefully this will get warmer now. And then we're just going to finish this off. I'm going to cook, cook that chicken, but man, it smells so good already. I'll show you what the chicken looks like when we're done. 
Uh, this was a black stone now. It's what I cooked on when I was in high school. I cooked at a restaurant called Sugar and Spice in Hicksville. Did uh, breakfast on the weekends and cooked a lot of dinners. And I cooked it all on a black stone. My mom worked on a black stone when she was young too. She just told me. And I can't wait to be cooking on this, making breakfast and everything. Uh, it's going to be very convenient. I mean, I always cook on a uh, cast iron skillet if I'm not cooking on the grill. And this is like a giant cast iron skillet. 18 and 3 quarter inches by 30 inches. Cast iron skillet on wheels. And it's got its own heat source. It's just... The only thing I don't like about my cast iron skillet is how small it is. This thing is going to make up for that. Stick around. We're going to be making lots of stuff on this thing.
I even like the way they did research on the packaging. You just lift this up, take one out, put it back in, hold it, put them back down. Don't have to worry about them coming apart. Look at that black stone. At the bottom of your grease pan, even. So I'm just using this aluminum foil to uh, kind of keep the heat directed to the chicken. And then if it gets too brown, I'll set it on top of uh, the aluminum foil so it doesn't keep browning up. But I really like this flip top lid. Um, I, I don't know if I could do it with a lift off lid. Now, if I'm just doing breakfast or something, I could set this off because it's windy. I don't have to worry about it blowing shut on me or something, which is nice. But I like that the edges are a little cooler because I can keep this stuff kind of warm off here to the side and uh, let that chicken cook. And the closer I get to the center, you know, the hotter it's going to be. I like knowing that. How do you get all the way over there? Now, do you know that Blackstone makes an aluminum uh, dome? My question is, and I haven't checked it out yet, um, do the aluminum domes fit with the with this hood closed? Comment below if you know. Look at that. Almost looks like a Harley symbol. That's where the sticker was. Alright, we're going to get this off the grill. And uh, we just reached 170 degrees. 168 on the chicken. Here's what it looks like. I had to get the old headlamp out. I do like that this shelf's down here because you can put stuff down there and you got room for other stuff on your side shelves. Oh boy, look at this chicken. Oh boy. We, we tested the thick one. So the other ones are probably way better. I'm going to show you what to do to clean this. Look how sticky that is. Check our potatoes. We'll brown those up a little bit out here now that we're done. Timmy's must be in there watching one of my videos. Well, I, could be, I can hear, hear myself talking. And I'm not talking. Yikes. Hot. Alright, there's our plate. Looks good, right? You see it? And now let's get this clean. Alright, guys, you've probably seen this before, but we're just going to leave it hot. Pour a little bit of water on there. Take our scraper.
we just spent a lot of time seasoning it. We do want to get this all cleaned up. Is warming up. Take some of this. Wipe this off with a paper towel, a little greasy. Take that in and wash it. I take this in and wash it. Or throw it over there. Either way. That's hot. Everything's hot. You get a mitt, guys. Everything's hot. Woo! Alright, changing my hair. Now you want it seasoned, but you don't want it to get too, too built up over time. You won't cook it good. I had to clean it every night. A little more grease. Now we're going to let it cool. And we put the cover on it. My cover is not coming until tomorrow. And uh, I'm putting it inside tonight. But... Alright, there we go. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. This is Cooking with the Gorilla on the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorillas channel. All right, take us out of here, AI eh, uh, Billy. I want to go eat. Well, that black stone looks like a mighty fine piece of equipment. And that chicken potatoes they cooked up look pretty good, too. Make sure you stick around, see what these two get into next time. The Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla wanted to thank all of you who watch, especially their patrons and channel members, because that help goes a long way. They want you to remember, keep finding the art and everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and yeah. the notification bell Good. so you know the next time they upload. Thanks, AI Billy. You did a pretty good job. We'll go over a few things I'd like to clean up a bit, but not bad for your first one. Delicious. Tastes like cast iron cooking.